I don't know if you heard about this, but men with small balls have bigger hearts. I don't know if you heard about this. <laughs> small ball men have bigger hearts? No. <laughs> so apparently men with small balls are known to have bigger hearts. And this is literally like the smaller testes. I know. Yeah. So you're probably big hearted. <laughs> I'm, uh, I got, no, I got, reg I'm a regu no, regular heart. No, Ryan's just got a black void in there, basically. Uh, I've actually, that's, that's, <laughs> the, I was actually arguing with Corinne about that the other day, because she was sort of saying that I'm emotionally stunted, and I was sort of, It's the balls. That's, that's what we found we're out. We're finding out, but like, I was, no, but I think she's wrong, because it, a lot of times girls sort of have this opinion that, I think some of it's just like a man versus a female, yeah. but a lot of times women have an opinion if like a man's not like re very like emotionally like attached all the time, yeah. that like that's something like wrong with them, but you're like, or it's like a choice that you've made to like be able to like accomplish what you want to accomplish, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, you're like, I don't, I don't let my emotions run the show. Well, you What's the opposite of stunted? Because then, if if you're emotionally stunted, then women are like Andre the Giant. Well, but like, okay, so say, imagine it like even when growing. you start doing like stand up or whatever, right? Yeah. Like a, a bad set like affects you, right? Of course. And then you sort of train yourself in a way that you can like take the information from that bad set without being like so fucking emotionally messed up. You know what I mean? Like, let's say you know someone when you're young and you really want this job or a girl breaks up with you, it's like it's gonna like affect you way more. And then you sort of know how to deal with it. And then you, a lot of what makes people like screwed up over events even is the idea that like you kind of don't know what the like uh like not knowing what all the potential outcomes are you know what i mean yeah whereas like once you've been through it you're like okay worst case it's this like even that's how like psychologists walk people through not being so like melodramatic it's yeah, like yeah. okay let's just figure out what's the worst case that happens here you know what i mean so i think in this case a lot of times it's like um, males are just like more stoic I mean, but a lot I, of times you like lean into that because you're like yeah it it's a it's a it benefits you more. You find in your whole life you go all the times that I was like an emotional mess were like the worst ones didn't help me in any way. So yeah, you go. I was not emotional stunted. It was if anything, it's just like you're uh, like you're uh, in charge of your own fucking body. It's yeah, your body, your choice. Of course. I mean that's like chicks also romanticize. You know when like Left Eye from TLC like burned down that dude's house. She like, lit the bathtub on fire because they were having like a bad bad argument or something and Andre Risen. Okay. She was dating him. I think it was Andre Risen and she like literally burned out his fucking house and chicks are like, ah, I love that. She's so in so, touch she's with so herself. In touch with her emotions. <laughs> she's like, that's not good. <laughs> this is the most in touch moment yeah, ever. Yeah, she goes, yeah, like you're using her as like an example of what you should, you know, that's, yeah, that. Look, it's, uh, they're really letting her it's emotions the, run the show. It's good that like know. cops coming in and being like, yeah, this woman's really in touch with her emotions. <laughs> it's like, hey, what's that? <laughs> That's a good like the term for crazy. You go, hey, like I started dating this girl. I know you're friends with her. What do you think? You go, let's just say she's in touch with her emotions. <laughs> yeah. and wink, wink, wink. <laughs> say no more, fam. Say no more. <laughs> let's just say this girl is pretty tapped into that emotional vein. I mean, obviously, there's some sort of in between that's ideal but yeah of course there's a, a balance might be fine but like again though to, that depends too right because they that they, there's always like that all scenario like a lot of people try to do all the scenarios at once because the real part of you go does this benefit you or not it's like depends on what you're doing if you're trying to be like a professional athlete like probably being like crazy the that level of what you need or if you're like a trade like a you know, top of the line like hedge fund trader yeah the level that you have your emotions affect you you want that to be lower than if you Minimal. were yeah like if the you best were like athletes are like no emotions yeah to be honest like uh, what we do i actually probably am more tapped into stuff than i have to that i would like if you want to be like some sort of like an artist you need to sort of almost be like sensitive to like people's feelings and like audiences you yeah need to, for sure so to be honest you have to be like sort of tapped into that whole thing thing less than it actually benefits you it's actually that's why a lot of times like you know being a artist is like so bad for people because it like for like or jobs like that it forces you to be so fucking like uh like open up those sensors more than you yeah, like yeah, want to yeah. you know what i mean whereas like you the know aperture. there is like a happiness in like being a guy that's like yeah i'm just not like tapped in like if people are like upset around me i can just ignore it you know what i mean whereas like if you some of these jobs to be good at it you sort of have to not be able to ignore it you have to be like sort of tapped into it for sure yeah yeah i actually forgot it in, in uh, saratoga springs after my set this girl followed me into the green room because she didn't like one of my jokes <laughs> <laughs> 
totally you get that old Danny back. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about that until you were saying that. I okay, let me just ask you a quick question before you tell me what happened. <laughs> yeah. After she left, did you then uh, go into the closet and then go on your leather jacket and then put it back on? <laughs> the boys are back and down. It was like the A-team with the locker. You go. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> a little curl. <laughs> a little curl comes down. <laughs> <laughs> you light it, so you start smoking again. <laughs> the, oh yeah, it was good stuff. It was so crazy too. Like, I like the the. Hey, the show had been over for ten. Danny, seconds. aren't you going to be doing your meet and greet today? You go. Nah, I'm not doing that anymore. And he goes, "What? All the fans are there. Is there anything you want us to tell them?" And you go, "You can tell them to fuck off. <laughs> go, you can <laughs> tell them to fuck off." <laughs> <laughs> Cigarette right out on my tongue. <laughs> then you walk off and take off on your bike with a belt. <laughs> 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 Three wheeler, <laughs> a girl followed you in. into the green room, Come right? on. like like immediately after, like and the show was like great. It was like a great show, and she was the the whole weirdest part was she was love her and her boyfriend were sitting up front, and they were like loving the whole show. And I was like, I'm talking to them, and like it was great. And then the last joke, I said the word retard. And, That's what did it. And the very last joke, and I'm like, I'm saying all sorts of shit. Did you tell her that I can do that? Because <laughs> I am that. <laughs> and then the show, and then I literally get off stage, walk into the green room, and I was like really hot, so I was like sweating like crazy. I go sit down, and right when I sit down, she's there, and I go, oh hey, like thinking she wanted to say like great show or something. No, she she walks in, she was like, and you go, all right, you can suck it, but make it quick. <laughs> all right, listen, you can suck it, but make it quick. I got a fucking nine o'clock coming through. <laughs> oh, hello. I guess it's show business, anyways. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. I zip. <laughs> no, she goes, she goes, my, um, she goes, that last joke you told? My brother has Down syndrome. She's crying? <laughs> Not crying, but she looked like she was about it. She goes, my brother has Down syndrome. I go, I didn't mention people with Down syndrome. And then what she and says, she goes, well, just so you know, that's it's not cool to say that and you might want to not do that joke ever again and I go that's, that's the point when you flipped out your hair, your flip comb <laughs> start combing your hair <laughs> and I go okay Thanks. then what happened you just did there and then, like, oh, and then the you manager go, like, came in and then you go you have the sharpie in your hand ready to sign the tits <laughs> and you go so we're so signing them or not <laughs> you more of an ass do you want me to make that to sure. him <laughs> And then the manager came in and fucking dragged her out. out. Yeah, because he's like, he's like, oh, sorry. He's like, I didn't realize. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> okay. That's when you're in your bad boy mind, too. You go to the guy, you go, what the fuck? That ever happens again? I'll make sure this is comedy yeah. club shuts down by the end of the day. <laughs> I can make sure you never run a comedy business ever again, motherfucker. And I get that, like, na 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 with the glasses. <laughs> I forgot about that. That is wild. Yeah. Well, a group of scientists uh, decided to get together and study balls and be men between the ages of 21 and 55 of varying ethnicities and all their fathers of toddler aged kids were subjected to ball sizing and nurturing tendencies. And basically the whole gist of the study is dudes that have small balls are more nurturing to the kids because basically this is the whole premise. They're basically saying guys like me that have big ones. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them kids. Yeah, they walk and the kid's like, hey, dad. And you go, just like, hey, dad, I have eight, eight and today. You go, see what that is right there? That's a fucking <laughs> set, kid. <laughs> yeah. Like, do, I, do I look like your fucking mother, Fend kid? Fend for yourself. <laughs> hey, I get it. These might look like two titties to you. That's a fucking set. You know, you'll have one when you grow up. Probably not with this little... So then they're saying guys that have a little measly. Can't fucking believe it. Why are you balls? Not your dick. Dude, honestly, I don't think anyone makes a big difference in between their balls. It's also a small sample size, and then uh, also, I can't believe that someone's. Job. They said that the guys are less hands-on. The guys with big balls. <laughs> they aren't well, exactly jumping off the couch mid-football game to bathe or feed their kid. Do you think so? There's they're they're sort of making the premise that there's something to do with like the chemicals, whereas like you know, like the whore, guys whatever. who have big balls have all this testosterone running through them, kind of thing or something. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think what they're positing is they like the guys are so embarrassed about their small balls that they're, the the <laughs> girls like, hey, do you want to make dinner? You're like, no, I should probably. No, do. I, should, I just do uh, <laughs> like they're compensating for the small balls exactly. by being great fathers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But they're also being great mothers, too. Like, they're basically, you know what I mean? Taking care of the kid every which way because they're just like, you know, they look in the mirror every day and they go, you're a fucking ballless man. You're nothing. Get in that kitchen. Put your apron on, you little fucking woman. I can't believe that's someone's job. 
The doing so, this study? The study, the ball study. Do you, it could have potentially been like a, a psyop for like some fucking pervert to just feel a lot of balls. <laughs> Are you sure this is part of the this study? This is a study, you know, huh? Body, um, you want the you know, five bucks or not? Boom. It's like, can you stop making noises when you uh, do the things? Like, hey, buddy, I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, hey, stop. Stop moving. I'm a professional. <laughs> Look, if you could just stop moving, we could get through this. But every time you move, I have to start again. <laughs> Do you really have to make the noises? Like, I, I went to medical school to not be told, like, some small ball motherfucker how to do my job, okay? These are this is, the kind, <laughs> this is the kind of study where you like uh, you rip the thing off a phone pole. <laughs> oh yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah, this yeah. study in the back of a friggin' Baskin Robbins, dude. <laughs> this study's this study's taking place in the wheel the wheelchair bathroom yeah. in a coffee time. Shadow coffee time. Shadow coffee time. The study one, the coffee time was the if people don't know. It's like the mo, it was the, the basically the Dunkin' Donuts, but it was like ninety no, percent lower than Dunkin' Donuts. Oh no, no, I'm saying that's the lowest one they have here, but this was ten times lower. Yeah, and basically every bathroom was you couldn't go into the bathroom without like nine people doing heroin. Yeah, yeah. And then it got so bad that they started being twenty four hours, but they wouldn't let people come in because only people came in to do heroin. So they you basically it's like a imagine like a Dunkin' Donuts, but you have to go to a window to get your food and you couldn't come in like a certain hour. <laughs> hours in the night and it's just like oh it was just like all it was like every criminal in fucking the world yeah basically ran their, it was it was they were rough and there were yeah regulars that essentially would sleep at dunkin donuts there'd be people like sleeping it was like the subway times fucking 20 and it was really just bad bad products uh, the study wanted to examine the evolutionary theory of animals that are made for breeding or nurturing. And basically, the, but this is the thing they're saying. So they're saying that I'm less nurturing. Yeah, you're just less nurturing. But well, also, you got those balls to deal with. It's balls. like you have your own babies. Yeah. Yeah. The girls never care. But the, having big balls is a blessing because all it does is make your dick look smaller. <laughs> That's a blessing? No, it's a curse. Oh, yeah, you said a blessing. No, if you have a, like, basically, like, yeah, ob yeah. yeah obviously, right? It's mm -hmm. just fucking, all it does is, like, you know, because the girls don't think, like, all oh, the balls are big. They think, like, all oh, the fucking dicks, like. Uh, is there, you know how there's, like, a breast reduction surgery? Is there a ball reduction surgery? Yes, and I didn't, and it didn't work. You but don't remember that? I thought that was not a reduction. I thought that was your things were all crossed. I did a reduction. Oh, I didn't know No, that. but you're right. It's not the actual balls. It's the stuff inside the balls. <laughs> Beside the stuff beside the balls, the yeah, surgery the didn't take like like a like a face like a face uh, tuck or whatever <laughs> like a facelift you know do this to your balls <laughs> cosmetic ball <laughs> surgery. <laughs> there was actually back in the day a big thing that we used to do is uh, fucking all send each other pictures of balls but like never dick just ball yeah and then like funny thing would be like if someone's like it was like let's say it was like Waldo's birthday or whatever right like we do the photo and then like the two other guys would take their balls out and put them beside their photo or whatever <laughs> and then there was one like uh, i guess from old school facebook before like uh i, I think uh, i went and did like a, a run through of all the stuff but there was an old photo that like uh, my buddy had basically like a job interview and he was like had to scrub it and he was like oh i got and, like he was like he basically had to take down all our tagged photos because he was at a job interview and he was like pretty crazy what was going on on facebook back then it was <laughs> me waldo and jarek standing behind a wheelbarrow and we all had our balls in the wheelbarrow and at one point that was my profile picture <laughs> It's like that used to be the whole Facebook used to be the Wild West. Yeah, man. If you put a ball photo now, you'd be fucking you'd count take it yeah, down. Yeah, done, but, done. That, that was, was before the that days was a, of content. Back moderation. in the day, that was a, you could be your profile photo of you <laughs> having your ball on a wheelbarrow. <laughs> It's a different day. Different time. Depending on what you're looking for in a guy, you should probably become just as obsessed with ball size as every dude you've likely to have ever met. So basically they're saying that uh, I think that'll be a thing of like girl, girls girls think... but like girls on Tinder or no, like I don't. don't waste my time and small balls only. <laughs> Don't waste He's not my looking for guys to fucking dick around. No hookups, small balls only. I'm a ball. I'm a size queen. It's like, well, I'm packing eight inches. Around or circumference? What are we talking? I'm more of a just, I, I need to know the weight. Is there a way you can weigh your balls? Yeah, I'm about eight and a half. Yeah. Milligrams? What are we, what are we talking yeah, what are about? What are we here? fucking. I'm trying to start a family, Stone? okay? Stone? <laughs>